Hello and welcome to another video. You see in Calculus 1, you only do differentiation, a lot of differentiation and maybe some integration where they teach you the techniques in integration. But you see, when you're differentiating, you just need to see it and then you know what to do. Use product rule, chain rule, use the quotient rule, you know, use the exponent rule, just the standard rules that you know and you can differentiate virtually every function you see. But when it comes to integration, you have to decide how you will integrate because there is not one way. So the only way to become a master or at least to be as good enough as you want to be is to practice about a million questions. This is one of the millions. Okay, so let's see. <music> rational function and you have x plus x root x. Some people will just multiply these two together and get an expression, but I would rather view this as two terms, a polynomial, or as, look at this, because what I'm seeing right now is partial fractions. That's what I'm seeing. I don't know if you see it. Um, three over x plus x root x, well, I can factor this out. It will be 3 over x into 1 plus square root of x. So this looks like um, I've taken the least common multiple of two separate fractions. I want to break it down into those two separate fractions using partial fractions. So I will rewrite this as a over x plus b over 1 plus square root of x. Well, this is not a polynomial function. It is not. So this is not going to work. But can I change this so that it doesn't look like a square root stuff? Yes. I can actually change this so that by the time I get here, what I have can be a true uh, polynomial denominator. Remember, you can't do f partial fractions when you have irrational because you don't know what this x is gonna be. Okay, so this cannot be irrational. So what you wanna do is rewrite this function. Let's go back. I'm gonna say, let y be equal to, let's not use y, let's use u. Let u be equal to the square root of x. Okay, so that um, du will be equal to one half, we can do it that way, will be equal to, let's, uh, so that u squared, let's do it that way, u squared will be equal to x. Now you can differentiate both, and then you have dx will be equal to 2u du. So now I can go here and replace this in this function so that this integral, see what's going, now the square root is gone. Okay, now I can go back and replace dx with 2u du, and this um, integral becomes the integral of 3 over, what is x? x is u squared. I'm going to write u squared plus um, x times square root of x. That's going to be u squared times u. That's going to be u cubed. Brilliant. Huh. It's looking good. Now we need to replace dx, and dx is going to be 2u du. Good. So we're good. So what we have right now will be equal to 6u over, this is going to be u squared. I'm going to say u into u plus u squared. OK, that makes things easy u, this u can take this u out, and what you have left will be the integral of 6 over u into u plus 1 
a 1 plus u, so we follow the order um, 1 u plus that's going to be u into 1 plus u then you have du. Now this is easy for anybody to integrate. You just need to resolve this into partial fractions because that's the only way out and we'll be good. Okay, so let's do that. Let's resolve this into partial fractions. So this implies 6 integral of 1 over u into 1 plus u du. So resolving this into partial fractions, let's do some little tiny uh, paperwork on the side. Um, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to erase it over time. But if you don't understand partial fractions, um, I think you should watch my next video or one of my previous videos. I didn't really do much, but I can do a comprehensive video on all of the techniques in partial fraction. Okay, so and that's going to come next. So what we have, so if you're, if you're a pre-calculus pre student um, or you're a Calc 2 student, you should, must have partial fractions taken care of because they are very relevant to what you're doing. So um, at this point, we're going to resolve 1 over u into 1 plus u, okay, into partial fractions. So it means this is, these are two terms multiplying each other. That's a over u, okay, plus b over 1 plus u. Okay, um, since this is the least common multiple, we're going to multiply everything by u into 1 plus u. You'll end up with 1 equals a multiplying 1 plus u and plus b multiplying u. Okay, um, let's do some very smart things. What if when u is 0, you see, when u is 0, this is going to be 0, and what you have is going to be a times 1, and this is going to be just 1. a is going to be 1, okay? When u equals 0, a will be 1. At least we know what a is. Remember, a is constant. It doesn't matter what u is, but we've been able to smartly find what a will be by just putting u equals 0. Now, the smart thing to do to make this 0 is to make u negative 1. And if you do that, and you can also say when u equals negative 1, this is going to be 0, and this be negative b. Negative b equals 1, which means b is negative 1. So b equals negative 1. So we can actually resolve this into 6 integral of 1 over, you see, it's a over u, that's 1 over u, minus, because this is negative 1, minus 1 over 1 plus u. That's it du. Let's integrate. This is 6 integral of 1 over u du minus 6 integral of 1 over 1 plus u du. Ladies and gentlemen, what we get is 6 ln u minus 6 ln 1 plus u. Absolute value. Let's use the absolute value sign, okay? Um, I like doing that. You don't lose any points for putting the absolute value. Well, if you figure out you don't need to put, a, put it, then you can change it, but I just leave it. Nobody punishes you for that. Okay, well, this question was not about you, not about you. <laughs> it's about X. So we have to go back and replace U. Remember, U is the square root of X. So we're going to rewrite this. Okay, this is going to be 6 ln root x minus 6 ln 1 plus the square root of x. Okay, and that should be our final answer. However, you know, you can actually write this as x to the 1 half. Take the 1 half, use it to multiply this. That's going to be 1 half of... Um, of 6 and you can actually change this so I'm gonna take this off let's do it so this is gonna be um, 6 ln x to the 1 over 2 minus 6 ln 1 plus square root of x so this one half goes here and divide 6 that gives you 3 
ln x. You don't have to do this. This is good enough as an answer. Uh, plus c. I forgot. Plus c. Don't forget that. And 6 ln 1 plus square root of x plus c. That's what you're supposed to get. I hope you learned something. Okay? Um, if you did, leave a nice comment in the comment section. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not. Share this video. Talk to your friends about it. Okay? If you have any specific question you'd like me to help with, just send me an email. It's just the name of this channel at gmail.com, primenewtons at gmail.com, and I'll get it and I'll make a video for it. Or leave the question in the comment section. I'll find it. Take care of yourselves. Until I see you in the next video, don't stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.